Yeah. Go to mine and then share it. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, I see you on with somebody else. I don't know who that is. No, bro, we live. You are actually talking on Facebook now. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, Doc. So uh, I'm glad you we could spend this time to get on together and uh, chop it up. Uh, of course, as you got in the banner there, the power of investing. My name is Daryl Smith, and of course, it's on we on your page. You're Dr. Carlton Calhoun, one of my mentors. And uh, I know we didn't plan anything, but I know uh, getting together and talking with you that it's always going to be a great jewels bit and drop. And I know you're going to make me look good because, hey, I can't help but look good uh, with a guy with so much knowledge and wisdom uh, like you. And so give me a second. I'm going to find this and share it to my page. Cool. Well, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you uh, inviting me on to, to share the stage with you, bro. Yes, sir. And so I know we're going to talk about the uh, power of investing. And so I wanted to ask uh, you a few questions. And so that help us to get right into the conversation. So okay. um, why do you think investing is important, Doc? Well, uh, investing is important because it allows you to create the expectation of return. Uh, when, a, when most people hear investing, they think just money. But the biggest investment you can ever invest in is yourself. Personal growth, self-development um education information that's the the key that will unlock the doors to whatever it is that you want to accomplish accomplish in life so <laughs> you have got to be willing to invest in yourself before you look to invest in any other vehicle and then that's one of the things i like about uh being around you doc and the influence that you've had is because that's one of the main things that you talk about you always pouring into us about uh, personal development, uh, challenging us to uh, do certain things that stretch us. So, and then pointing out the lesson that we've learned uh, after we complete the task. And uh, you're an excellent taskmaster because you make sure that we follow instructions, make sure that things are done. And I guess that's more of like your professor educational background. Um, and, uh, you know, and because of that, we're all, everybody that's associated with you are learning, we're stretching ourselves because we've learned one thing uh, from our other mentor, David Emanitie, is that all of this is uh, based on belief. And, you right. know, the belief that we have um, governs uh, what we do, you know, because if we have the belief that we can accomplish something, then the likelihood of us attempting it is uh, probably small. But if, you know, we just talked about certain tasks that tasks that you gave us to do and we were all fulfilling those tasks. And so now, as far as getting things done, you know, our level of belief is higher. So we're more likely to do things. And as your belief level grows, um, the more you're going to get out of what we say, your comfort zone and do more. So you're going to stretch yourself uh, even more. And so um, what I like to say is that, you know, we talk about getting out of our comfort zone, but I like to tell people getting out of your comfort zone just leads to your comfort zone, because as you get more and more uncomfortable, the things that you accomplish is going to lead to uh, improving and increasing uh, your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Now, from, from a financial perspective, I know um, regarding investing and investing in finances, we learned that there's uh, four ways that people make money. You know, there's 60 percent of people who uh, work for someone else, the employees, and they leverage their time for money. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they go to work and get paid. They go to work and get paid. They don't go to work. They don't get paid. And there's 35 percent of people who actually work for uh, themselves, but they still leverage their time for money because they can't step away from that business. The business is them. And, you know, they, those are like uh, our hairdressers, barbers, uh, doctors, lawyers and private practice, people like that. And then we say on the right side of the quadrant, we have the four percent of people who are business owners. And they're able to leverage other people's time for money. But then we have that 1% who's the investor. Like you said, they put their money into a platform and their money increases over time and they're able to make their money work for them. And that's one of the things that drew me to uh, financial uh, investing because, you know, there's only a limited amount of time that we can work physically. If we're trading our time uh, for money, 
then there's only so much time that we have. But when we can make our money work for us and we've got platforms that help us to even earn in our sleep, then, you know, that's part of the key to our financial wealth. And that's one of the things that you've been able to show us. And um, so, uh, Doc, so what would you call a uh, good investment? Well, as I said uh, at the beginning, the best investment, number one, is in, in yourself. Mm -hmm. You've got to be willing to take the initiative to see how you can grow yourself before you can grow your financial portfolio. Um, outside of that, um, there are a variety of vehicles that you can invest in. You can invest in real estate. You can invest in precious metals. You can invest in art. I mentioned earlier today on the previous live that my oldest brother is uh, a big time connoisseur of watches. So he literally knows how to identify um, authentic versus non-authentic watches. And he buys them very inexpensively because he understands the value and then he turns around and sells them. So that's a form of investing. For us specifically, uh, the vehicle that we've chosen to invest in is the foreign exchange. And I believe that is one of the easiest or easier vehicles to invest in because it does not take a great amount of uh, money to start that investing. So it gives you a doorway into larger concepts surrounding investing. That's what I love about the educational platform that we have. It will allow the average ordinary individual like me and you to learn and develop a skill set to where we can start investing daily to learn the power behind uh, compound interest, behind investing, and then eventually take that to larger scale investing. Well, the thing I like about that is it actually goes back to what you first started talking about when you're talking about investing in yourself. Because in the vehicle that we have, we are actually investing in ourselves to learn the skill. Mm -hmm. The uh, foreign exchange market and the foreign currency market has always uh, been there. It's just that um, before, in order to be an individual to qualify to do it, you had to have a $3 million net worth, $100,000 to start your trading account. And you had to invest so much uh, money, over $20,000, just to get the education to learn. But what our educational vehicle has done is made it affordable, affordable for us. And we're actually, um, like you said, we're investing in ourselves to learn the skill. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I like is that we have the availability of uh, educators, educators who do live sessions and they come on and we can access these live sessions 24 seven and watching the session. There are six, seven and eight figure earners annually in the foreign exchange market. And we're able to tap into those sessions or watch what it is that they have to uh, teach us. But not only that, but they also live trade in the market. And so if we put the investment of time into watching these sessions and into the education that we have available, then uh, we will over time learn that skill. And so that personal investment is still uh, the most important thing. We're just investing our money after uh, we've invested the time in learning the skill. Well, yeah, the investment thing of time in learning the skill will allow you to minimize the risk associated with investing your money. Because make no mistake, there's always a risk involved. Always. That's why we can't guarantee. Uh, so many people ask, well, can you guarantee I do that? No, because I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what type of work ethic or discipline that you have when it comes to you doing what you say that it is that you're going to do. So we can't make any guarantees from that perspective. But through learning, practicing, and developing the skill, we minimize the risks that increases our potential for return. Right, and one, one of the things that we like to say, one of our models is that we uh, teach people how to minimize their risk and maximize um, their profits. Skill, minimize yeah. the risk. You might have to uh, mute your device. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was just trying to look at the comments. But um, yeah, so that's very interesting. So uh, how much of an investment uh, do you think it would take for a person, say a person that says they're well, you know, I'm busy. I don't know how much time I have to invest in the skill. About how much time would you think that they would have to invest in order to uh, start learning the skill, Doc? Realistically, I would say a minimum of about an hour a day 
and then throughout the week, probably four to five days a week. I believe that's enough if you do that consistently within 60 to 90 days. You won't be an expert, but you'll be proficient enough to be able to identify potentially profitable trade ideas. And then at that point, you can make the decision of whether you want to enter the markets or not. Okay. The other thing is, suppose I also say, well, if I'm out here just uh, studying on my own, I mean, do we have any other support groups that uh, help people along the way when they're trying to learn this skill? Absolutely. And let, let's talk about that. You can absolutely learn this skill on your own, just like you can learn to pull your own teeth. You can learn to fix your own car. You can learn to cook your own meals. But they have professionals out here who will do that and teach that. So personal experience, um, I started looking into the foreign exchange market about 2014, 2015. I was talking to Antoine Mitchell. Shout out to Antoine Mitchell. I told him I have a, a notebook right now in my office from my notes that I was taking back then. And there, when I tell you the information is so scattered. Right. And you sometimes are, are looking in a variety of places and you don't know exactly where to focus your time, energy and attention. Thankfully, our platform has condensed all of that into one centralized location. With that, you save time and you save money. So the average person can start in this market for as little as $10, depending on the broker that they choose. Now, there are, there are a variety of, of different platforms that will teach this. And you mentioned some upwards of five, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. But right. the hours is less than $300 to teach you this skill. And then for the people who still, for whatever reason, don't think it's real, you can learn this skill. You could actually go get a job at a major bank as a foreign exchange trader and the income, uh, the salary starts at $144,000. In fact, I saw today for an options trader, which our platform also teaches, starting salary is $157,000. Right, and that's more than some people are gonna make with uh, after going uh, to college and getting a degree or getting an advanced degree, which we've talked about uh, many times. And, yeah. uh, and I, I can raise my hand also, Doc. And um, like you said, one of the great things about our platform is we have our mastery academies and they consist of that videos on demand that we can actually access 24 seven. And these videos actually go from uh, difficulty levels of difficulty from beginner to novice to advanced. And so, you know, I spend a lot of time watching the educational curriculum, the videos on demand, taking notes, watching them over and over again because we learn through repetition. And like you said, I've known a lot of people who said, you know, they watch uh, videos on YouTube to try to learn this skill, but we have a whole educational curriculum that goes from beginning to end that teaches you all of the concepts all in one place. And then you can access those anytime and you have control over the information because in YouTube, somebody puts up a video, they can actually take it down at any time. And so if you haven't downloaded it, you don't have access to it. But we have a whole curriculum that can that person can actually access 24 seven. And so that makes, like you said, for a good resource. Well, you know, um, I've, I've utilized YouTube for a variety of things. And I, I love YouTube. I love the fact that there are literally millions of people who put valuable information on that platform. But specifically, when we're talking about the foreign exchange and trading and investing, even on YouTube, you can get valuable information there on the subject. But if you pay attention, once they've given you value, they invite you to enroll into the real core where you get the real information. That's the thing. People cannot be cheap when it comes to information. You get what you pay for. So for these individuals who always want to navigate around the route, it turns out that the shortcut is the long way. Right. If you're willing to do what it takes, invest in yourself from proven and documented educators, then it will save you a lot of time and specifically a lot of money from making some of the mistakes that individuals make when they are uh, entering this, this world of investing and trading. 
And the other thing that I was going to say is, as you said, proven educators and our uh, live educators that come on, um, like I said, they're actually uh, vetted and reviewed by the company. And so they're proven uh, six, seven and eight figure earners in the market. When you go on YouTube, you may get good information, but you don't know the expertise or the source of the information. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that uh, as far as um, our educational platform goes, is that you can uh, learn this skill and have this uh, information all in one place for less than three hundred dollars. And, you know, you can't buy a TV set or a cell phone uh, for three hundred dollars. And um, those things are not going to make you any money. But you can buy some food. Yeah, you can buy some Jordans and you're never and I can tell you the only thing you're doing is you're uh, investing in somebody else's company. Yeah. You know, and with this information that we have, you're investing in yourself, first of all, because you're learning a skill, a skill that nobody can ever take from you once you learn it. Um, you'll learn how to improve your income, increase your finances, multiply the money that you already have. And the most important thing is that you'll learn how to make your money work for you. And so that would be a good investment in yourself. But Jordan's is just going to make uh, Jordan and his corporation uh, rich when you invest in that. Well, this is the thing, Daryl. <clears throat> You're always going to be uh, making somebody else rich. Doesn't matter where you invest, how you invest. There's always somebody else who's going to get rich. But the thing about it is when you learn this skill, when you utilize this platform, Yes, you're still making somebody else's last name rich, but now you get to add your name to that roster of people getting rich, which you can't do that in most um, jobs. I was speaking earlier today. There's a, a documentary on Netflix. You can go watch it. It's about getting into the minds of billionaires. And several of them said that the guaranteed way not to become wealthy is through earned income. They say you will never get wealthy through earned income. So that's what people have to think about. It's, it's not about recruiting you to do this. It's not about getting you to pay your money to do this. It's about giving you a realistic shot at creating wealth. See, through our platform and with our community that we have, we allow you to get in the game. You can't win from the sidelines. You can't score if you don't take the shot. Here, we allow you, one, to get in the game, and two, to start taking the shots. Will you win? Absolutely. I will never tell anybody that this is easy because it is by far not easy, but it's simple. It's simple actions repeated consistently over time that yield big results as you improve. It's unrealistic and it's unfair for you to come into a platform like this, having worked for money five, 10, 15 years, and to think that you're going to get it in 30, 60, 90 days. I always tell people, however long you've worked for somebody else, give yourself that same amount of time. If you work for somebody else for five years, Give yourself five years to become financially free. If you've been working all your life, commit the rest of your life to developing a skill, and more importantly, a mindset that's going to equip you and empower you to create a legacy for you and your family. And the other thing that I like, Doc, is like you said, when you come into our culture uh, and our team and the platform, one of the things is you're never alone. We've always guiding each other. We're always supporting each other. There's people with different backgrounds, different levels of uh, skill, uh, different levels of uh, improvement in that personal development. And so what's happening is that we're able to, if you're smart, interact with these people, uh, ask questions. Um, I mean, even Luke Skywalker, he had Yoda. You know, even like we talked about Michael Jordan, you know, he had a coach. And so, you know, in order to get where you need to be, you need to be around like minded people. First of all, you need to be around people who have more as far as whether it's uh, resources, whether it's education, um, people who have been where you're trying to get to and having the opportunity to ask them questions. We are we're around people who are, are, are high financial earners. 
and uh, we're not making any income claims. But if you want to become a high financial earner, then you have to be around somebody that's actually done it. Somebody that can guide you along the way. Somebody that's given you the sauce, as they say, in order to tell you exactly what it is that you need to do in order to get um, where they are. Now, it's up to you uh, to actually do it. The right. other thing is that I've been in several different uh, organizations, but this is one where people truly care uh, genuinely about where you are, your welfare, and you know the work ethic in the leadership shows it. The work ethic in the CEO shows it. The work ethic in uh, the people who are at what they what they might term dip higher ranks than we are shows it. And after a while, it trickles down to the team, and we start to reflect that same uh, work ethic and uh, for the most part, that same knowledge. And so we need a guiding force to get where it is that we're trying to get to in our goals. Absolutely. Okay. There's a, a old saying that says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Right. Well, you show yourself ready by getting involved. And there, as you mentioned, there are several, several individuals who are part of the company, part of the family. I call it a family, not an organization. Part of the family who are willing to lay out the steps that it takes for you to arrive where they are. That's why I love about this. People always talk about what I've been able to do in, in the amount of time. But when I look at my mentors, I look at a Justin Owens, I look at a, a David Emanitia, I look at a, a Yvonne Tapia, a Alex Morton, and then I compare what I've been able to do to what they've been able to do. I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Right. And the, and the thing that the thing that's funny for me, I'm more, more of a seasoned individual. And, you know, we have people who are in their 20s, people who are in their 30s, you know, people of all ages who we call mentors, simply not based on the fact that they've spent enough time here on this earth, but because of the things that they've been able to accomplish. And sometimes I've heard people say, well, you know, you have no problem following uh, somebody younger than you and what they do, because I know that in order to accomplish my goals, I have to be influenced and uh, actually take uh, suggestions from people who have been where I'm trying to go. Oh, absolutely. You, you have to always remain a student. Um, I tell people, you know, I have a Ph.D., um, so if nothing else, I know how to be a good student. <laughs> right. Right. So I was willing to come in. Uh, put my quote unquote credentials to the side and become a student again and learn from people who had more results and more information than I had at the time. And I'll always be like that. I'll always be willing to learn. I, I learn from you, you all each and every day. There's always something that I can learn from someone. That's how I know that I've never arrived. You never arrived. Mr. Emanitia says all the time, success is not a destination. It's a moving target. So you're always working to get better, to, to be better, and to help other people be better. So, Doc, if there was some advice, uh, if you could tell somebody exactly why it would be a great idea to get involved with us, what is one thing that you would tell them? Well, first of all, I would ask them, what is it in their life that they feel is lacking? Um, before I can prescribe a solution, I have to diagnose the problem. Exactly. So if you want more time to spend and do things with people you care about, then I can help you. If you need more money to fulfill maybe a, a lifelong dream or desire that you have for you or your family, then I can help you. So if you find yourself uh, falling short in a particular area, then I believe that we can provide a solution for that. So that's the first question. I will ask them, what is it that they desire? And then I'll see if there's some synergy and alignment with what it is that we have to offer. If it is, then I will recommend our platform. If talking to you, I sincerely feel that we can't help you, then I will tell you that because I'm not, as they say, thirsty to have people join me on this journey. I, I don't I don't want it to sound bad, but I don't need them. So that's what I do first. I ask them, 
what is it that they need? What is it that they desire? What is it that they want more of? And then I'll see if what we have complements what they need. If so, this is absolutely the best platform. So how can a person who wanted to get more information about what it is that we do and figure out if there's something that they could get involved with, how would they go about that? Well, uh, if they're watching your this live right now from your page, they can connect with you. Um, you know, we have a, a variety of people from all walks of life, speak different languages, have different cultures, different ethnicities. There's always somebody they can relate to. Just the mere fact that you're here sharing this information, there may be somebody who sees you and say, you know what? That guy reminds me of myself. Let me reach out to him. So it's simple. All you have to do is ask. Make your request known to the universe and the universe always delivers. The problem is most people aren't um, cognizant of what they're asking for because you always get what you're asking for. You just yeah, have that's to what, right yeah. Right. yeah, that's what I was going to say. A lot of times the problem is people never write down what it is that they want. They don't know what their goals are. And, you know, for a while, that used to be a problem for me, you know, to write down, well, what is it that I want? What am I trying to accomplish? What am I looking for? But now, I guess it's through our personal development. I've got a whole long list of goals that's written down, that's uh, displayed where I can see them, because that's one of the things that we talk about in relationship to belief. First of all, you have to know what your goal is. Then you have to write it down and then you have to put it where uh, you can see it daily so that it's an etched in your mind. And so you're right that a lot of times people don't know what it is uh, that they want to get involved with. You know, sometimes they may say, well, I know I just want a better life. It all starts with, I guess, dissatisfaction, knowing that there's something uh, better. But yeah, you're right, Doc. I mean, if anybody's interested in finding out more about uh, what we do when we're investing, it's a lot more to it. Um, you actually put it all in perspective. It's not only investing our, our, our finances, but it's investing our um, in our personal development, uh, investing in uh, investing in our belief systems, and you know, and through all of those things, we hope to come out better on the other side. And um, like uh, the other thing that you said, you have to be willing to be patient, invest your time, because I know that in anything that we've uh, accomplished in life, it wasn't easy when we first. Uh, started. So, you know, people want to get into a get rich quick, uh, get information quick, uh, particular situation, but there's no situation like that that's worth uh, getting into because they don't exist. But <clears throat> what I will say is this people ask, is it a get rich quick uh, thing? I say, yes. When you compare it to a job that's a get rich never, it's absolutely a get rich quick. But it's still not right tonight. You have to give yourself time. What if it takes you five years? That's a lot quicker than never. What if it takes you 10 years? That's a lot quicker than never. So it is a get rich quick, but it's not a get rich quick scheme. There's nothing illegal about what we do. Everything is above board. And as I mentioned in the beginning, you can learn this skill and then go out and get a job. If, if you're that gung-ho on working for somebody, come in develop this skill pay a couple of hundred dollars a month develop this skill after about 12 to 18 months once you've proven yourself you can go out and get a job a six-figure job right and and the thing that i like about this is that we've all had different levels of success so far because this is a skill that we're learning and um you know, I've had some, I've had some great success with it, but I've seen some people who just literally came in, uh, joined our team, and they're on fire. And then you know, they some people pick it up a lot quicker. But you know, so it's all in what you put into it um, mm -hmm. is what you'll get out of it. And like you said, I'm always patient because I know that I see um, the capability of it, the uh, proven um, results, and so I know it's just a matter of time before each and every person that applies themselves with what we do uh, comes out with the results uh, that they want. Absolutely. And so, Doc, you know, I'm not going to take up a lot of your time. I know that you've been talking probably all day because everybody's trying to uh, treat you like that good piece of fruit. They want to cut and get a piece and get some juice out of you and uh, see, see how you taste. And so, you know, I think that we've pretty much given people a taste of what it is. 
um, that's in store for them if they just reach out. Uh, they're looking for something better to do. You know, we're talking about investing in yourself. We're talking about the foreign exchange market, the $6.6 trillion that's being traded in there daily. And we're learning the skill to uh, work with that and get a piece of that uh, $6.6 trillion. And so, you know, if you're interested in uh, investing in yourself, being around some people who have uh, success on their mind, who people who are like-minded and discussing how we can all better ourselves and who want something better for uh, ourselves and our family, uh, then you can reach out to me and uh, we will talk about what it is that, like Doc said, what it is that you need because we're not going to diagnose a uh, problem uh, before we have had the opportunity to talk to you and see what it is that you're looking to get out of this. Always know what your goals are. Write them down. Think about it. Uh, put them where you can see it so that you can at least pour into yourself. And if you're interested in going to the next level, learning the skill and actually taking the time and putting some time into it, like Doc says, um, you know, in your job and in your uh, work and life history, you put in uh, our hours and days and weeks, months and years. And so you have to be prepared to do the same thing in order to make uh, your life better because nothing is easy. But one thing is for certain, if you put the time in, that you're going to see some success. So, Doc, you have any last words before we uh, start to close this thing up? Hey, I just want to uh, tell you, uh, always be encouraged. Um, I know it's the weekend, but this is where the warriors are made. This is where the warriors go out and show up for themselves and their goals. So kudos to you, my brother, for, for being one of those warriors, for being willing to uh, take that step of investing in yourself and opening the doorway for so many other people. I say all the time, when you show up for yourself, there's somebody looking at you who didn't believe they had a voice and you speaking up, showing up for yourself gives them the power to do the same. So I appreciate you. Uh, I'm always humbled when people ask me to share a platform with you. So I thank you, my brother. Well, Doc, you know, I got much love for you because you have shown me the same uh, throughout the years where you've been a mentor to me. And uh, we've got a long way to go. Um, and uh, you look, you even you even, even featured in some of my visualizations when we're just relaxing once we reach where we need to go. And, <laughs> I so, appreciate uh, that, right? and so, you know, um, again, I appreciate you spending the time on a Friday evening. I appreciate everybody who took the time out to uh, see what this is about. Uh, some of my, some of them are our supporters. Some of them are new to what it is that we're talking about. But, you know, give yourself a chance reach out to us and just see if this is for you. And if it is, uh, we'd like to welcome you to our team. And just remember, like Doc said, it may uh, cost to invest, but you invest in a lot of other things uh, that's not going to give you any return. So this is Daryl Smith. I'm with Dr. Carlton Calhoun, and we appreciate you for spending the time with us. And have, a great, have a great evening, Doc.